conversationalists, I'm Brandon Lou. Brandon Lou, welcome to To Be Seen for another comic conversation. It's a good time that for fans of the MCU, the Disney Investor presentation gave us a lot of really cool information about casting news and release dates for the next crop of Marvel cinematic programming. But the loudest reactions from fans were sparked much earlier in December when Variety revealed Alfred Molino would once again be taking up his iconic role of Dr. Octopus in the eagerly anticipated third Spider-Man installment. This comes after Jamie Foxx is already confirmed to be playing Electro in the next film as well. Two actors from different Spider-Man franchises showing up in their previous roles while taking part in the current Spider-Man franchise? Spider-Verse confirmed! Okay, I'm kidding, but this is certainly how fans seem to be receiving the news, especially since other rumors persist. A particularly snarky Collider article seemingly confirming that Andrew Garfield and Kirsten Dunst would also show up in the next Spider-Man movie, while additionally suggesting Emma Stone and Tobey Maguire are pretty close to a deal, followed by unofficial confirmations that Charlie Cox would reprise his Daredevil role, actors and heroes from franchises that are disconnected from the productions of Marvel Studios have allowed people's imaginations to run wild but lead to one conclusion. Spider-Verse. And perhaps we got to this conclusion because it's what people really want to see. But I'm hoping we see something different. I mean, even if there is a canon Spider-Verse in the MCU, that doesn't tell us anything about what any of the characters will be getting into. And for Dr. Octopus, there's a lot of history we can use our non-robotic arms to reach into for scenarios the good doctor might find himself jumping into. So let's take a look at some of the stories that we could see serve as inspiration for the next set of Spider-Man movies. Number one, Dr. Octopus gets with Aunt May. In one of the most memorable stories of Spider-Man's history, his arch nemesis, Dr. Octopus, attempts to marry Peter Parker's Aunt May. In the story, My Uncle, My Enemy, Otto pursues marriage in an attempt to gain access to a nuclear reactor on an island that she inherited. That's a pretty silly story and one I wouldn't expect to see produced by Marvel Studios, but it wouldn't be impossible to see Aunt May in these challenging times seeking comfort in the arms of a new man or even an octopus. Peter Parker has been exposed to the entire world as Spider-Man. I think it's very likely Otto can try and get close to Aunt May in order to get to Peter. I also think it'd be a pretty cool way to reunite Alfred Molina and Marissa Tomei, who worked together previously in the movie The Perez Family. Number two, Web of Death. Peter Parker's Spider-Man will probably be in hiding. He is a wanted criminal, he has enemies, and a lot of people want the bragging rights on who can take out the wall crawler. But would you save your enemy for the sole purpose of having the opportunity to take him out yourself? That's what Dr. Octopus does when he cures a previously poisoned friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. The current Peter Parker may not be in need of medical healing right now, but he is in the need of saving. His identity is exposed. He's America's most wanted. Perhaps Otto could give refuge to the fugitive Spider-Man, if only to take down the webhead himself at the most opportune time. Number three, Superior Spider-Man. To become the Superior Spider-Man, a dying Otto Octavius managed to body swap with Peter Parker. This probably wouldn't work in the movie franchise just yet, Otto has not yet been introduced, and this storyline takes place after an already lengthy history between the two rivals. But elements from the story can absolutely be introduced because the achievements of Otto Octavius are undeniable. While in control of Peter's body, Otto founded Parker Industries, installed security cameras throughout the city, took control of the super prison, The Raft, and took down a gang territory controlled by Wilson Kingpin Fisk. I wouldn't place money on saying Octopus trade in his arms for Spider-Man's red and blue underoos, but I can definitely see an interpretation of Octavius taking of the role as chief security expert. The Raft has actually already been introduced into the movies. It's where Vulture and Scorpion are spending their prison stint. 
Otto has been recognized a number of times as the brains behind the Sinister Six, with Keaton's vulture in contact with not only Scorpion, but possibly Morbius as well. If Otto is working there, it gives us a time and place for all three spider foes to be spending time in the same area. There are of course many great stories involving Dr. Octopus, but these are the three I would most love to see implemented in the next Spider film. Are there stories I left out that you think should serve as inspiration? Let me know in the comments and keep the conversation going. Use your spider enhanced reflexes to like, share, and subscribe so we can expand the reach of our episode without having to use any more web fluid. If you want to reach out to me directly, you can find me on Instagram at Lewis or Brandon or at Comic Combo, C O M I C O N V O, and let us know what you think and what you'd like to see next. Until next time, folks, I'm Brandon Lou, Brandon Lou, and this has been Comic Conversation.